Hello everyone, today I'm going to show the most important Samira tips and tricks that pro players use to carry their games. For each passive stack, Samira increases her movement speed. This is useful to know because when your opponent is running away from you, you can chase him with the movement speed bonus. Samira's arranged Q hitbox is more than the spell indicator. Also her melee Q hitbox is more than the spell indicator. Samira's melee Q can deal damage to multiple opponents and the damage is the same for all opponents. With her melee Q you can even hit enemies that are behind you, but for this trick to work there must be another opponent in front of you. Samira's melee Q deals more damage than the ranged Q. When you want to hit someone with Q who is further away from you, use Q first, then flash. Her Q can be used to check the bushes for enemies. If you hit a hidden enemy there, you will hear a specific sound and you will gain passive stacks. You can use both of Samira's Qs through walls to deal damage to your opponents. Her W can deal damage to multiple opponents and the damage is the same for all opponents. You can use W through walls to deal damage to your opponents. Samira's W can be used to check the bushes for enemies. If you hit a hidden enemy there, you will hear a specific sound and you will gain passive stacks. Use her W to dodge the enemy abilities, especially the enemy ultimates. For example, you can cancel Renata Glask's ultimate. You can also use W to try to save your teammates. Samira's E hitbox is more than spell indicator and it will make your character go towards the target. When you use E, you will always go behind your opponent. Her E can deal damage to multiple opponents it passes through and the damage is the same for all opponents. You can use E and Q at the same time. With this method, you will do more damage instead of using Q first and then E. Also when using E and Q at the same time, the damage you deal to the enemies you pass through will be the same for all enemies. When you use W, you will not be able to use Q during this time. But when you use W, you will be able to use E and Q at the same time. When you kill an enemy, the E cooldown will reset and you will be able to keep chasing your opponents or to escape. When fighting your opponents, you can use E to dodge their abilities. You can use E on enemy champions to go through walls. But be careful when using E on an enemy that is near a wall, because you may accidentally go through the wall. You can also use E on jungle monsters to escape from your opponents. Samira's E can also be used on enemy towers, inhibitors and nexus, but it will not deal damage to them. Once you reach level 3, the basic trading combo is auto attack, Q, E, W, auto attack. Samira's R hitbox is more than a spell indicator. You can use Samira's ultimate through walls to deal damage to your opponents. When you activate her ultimate, you will only be able to use E and your summoner spells. But you can also use the EQ combo during your ultimate to increase your damage. When you can't see the enemies hiding in the bushes, you won't be able to activate your ultimate. Once you reach level 6, the Owen combo is auto attack, Q, auto attack, W, E, R, but make sure you hit both W attacks. The more enemies you hit with your ultimate, the more you will heal. You can use top watch while dashing with E and still deal damage to the target. With Samira's Q, W and E, you can attack invisible opponents. In team fights, stay in the back of your team and try to deal as much damage as possible to the closest enemies to stack your passive. Once you have your ultimate, try to hit as many enemies as possible. If this video was useful to you, don't forget to like it. 